guys, welcome back to Those Rookies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we just wanted to give you guys a quick little update since it's been a minute since we've been posting. So we just want to let you guys know what's going on with the pups. First, we'll start off with the baby. Bella just went to the vet today. She had a comprehensive exam, and everything is doing well. She's healthy. One of the biggest shocks, I think, was that they said that she weighed four pounds, and I was like, "No, can't be." I don't. Oh, dog here. I don't necessarily believe that she weighs four pounds. I don't think that was accurate. I'm like, no. But they did say that she is four pounds now. And so that's really close to Marley because when Marley goes, he's about five or six. And she just, I don't know, she just doesn't look <laughs> like four pounds. She's a little needy. She has gotten a little bit of girth in her belly area, but she's been living her best life. Um, and so she's been doing well, like her health is well. Nothing's really going on. She does need to go in for another dental cleaning. I don't know if I told you guys the last time that she went in for her dental cleaning, um, they, they she lost two teeth. So I'm hoping this one she gets to keep all her teeth intact. You can't really tell like it's her two front bottom teeth right here. You can't see it because they're so tiny and so close together. It looks like maybe one tooth is missing. But other than that, um, Bailey, like I said, Bailey's doing well. Next, we'll do an update on the Zozo. So Zoe's been doing really good as far as health. She too has put on a few pounds, but she looks really, really good. Um, what's going on with you, Zoe? I mean, no health concerns. Everything's been going good. I know we had that scare a little bit ago when she ate um, the plastic and the grapes, but homegirl is doing okay. She did recently, um, she swallowed some floss. I was flossing my teeth. Ugh. I was flossing my teeth and I don't know what came over me but I set the floss down on the coffee table and she just lunged for it and got it and she, she ate it so I was freaking out of course because you know I just don't want anything to happen to her so especially something so preventable mm -hmm. so I did give her some peroxide I called the vet got the recommended amount for her size I gave her some peroxide and she threw it up and I had to sift through her vomit to make sure the floss was in there and it was and she was good to go um, anything else she did escape again recently but this time she wasn't really trying to go anywhere she just ran out the door and then she just sat and waited for me to come get her so it wasn't like the great escape like she did last time where we were running around like chickens with our head cut off so I mean a few people were asking Zoe is five yeah five Zoe is five years old She's a big girl, so she'll turn six on May 2nd. And Bailey is three, she turned three. She's not in frame right now. Her and Marley are sitting right here. Bailey is three, she turned three on January 21st. And then Marley is already six, he turned six on November 23rd. So, they're getting on up there, you guys. They're getting on up there. So anyways, that's pretty much it with Zoe. Nothing else has been going on with her. She's just living her best little life over here. Isn't that right, Zosa? So, can you look at the camera? Now we have the Marley. Um, and so I do want to get all the dogs groomed coming up. I didn't mention that. But I would like to get them groomed coming up because, you know, it's summertime. Get the girls cut down a little bit low. Marley kind of already has a summer cut. We recently got him groomed. And we got him cut all the way down because he had a few knots in his legs so it's just time to start fresh um, but Marley's doing really good as far as health you know he's the one who has a majority of the issues he hasn't been having any issues he's still on his medicated pet food I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys but I was originally getting it 
through um, Chewy, I mean not through Chewy, I was originally getting his pet food, food at PetSmart, but it was just a little bit pricey and things like that. So, so PetSmart was cool, but they just cost a lot more than, you know, what I wanted to pay. And so now we've started getting their food through Chewy.com, which is a little bit more affordable and we get enough for about six weeks. Okay, so anyways, they're doing really well as far as health. Um, all the dogs are happy, healthy, living their best lives, going to the farmer's market, going to the dog park. Um, we haven't really started going to the dog park yet for the season, <laughs> but um, I do intend on starting to take them. We found a new dog park. Well, I've heard of a new dog park that I want to start taking them to, so I'll show you guys that. It has more grass than the one that we go to. The one that we go to kind of has moss. Mulch? No, yeah. The one that we go to has mulch, so I do want to start taking them to that dog park. Um, another thing is I do want to start getting the dog back on a daily supplement I have been slipping on that because I want to find one that I feel like it's really good and so if you guys know of any daily supplements for small dogs that's like small and chewy that would be such a great help for when we could try it out and give you guys a review on it so definitely leave that in the comments below on your ideas of you know nice little supplements for them to have uh, but other than that guys that's pretty much all we have. That's an update on the dogs and what they have going on. Um, definitely thank you guys for subscribing and watching the channel. It has been so insane just to see the subscriber count go up as much as it has. And um, we're just so thankful for you guys. For you guys that watch the videos even though, you know, we're not posting as much as we were. We thank you guys for your consistency. And also, please let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments below give me some video ideas i definitely love your ideas you guys always come up with the best ideas so let me know some content you would like to see and i'll definitely get to work on that all right guys also i wanted to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a q a here really soon head over to our facebook page at those yorkies times three leave some questions there i'm going to be going there and getting all your questions and we're going to formulate it into a cool video so definitely uh, give us some questions, give us some video suggestions. If you just want to say hey, do that, and we'll definitely give you a shout out in our coming up QA. Definitely thank you guys for watching those Jerkies Times 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.